Hello everybody, my name is Netta and I'm here to show you how to use a timer in your program on Windows CBI. So first of all I would show you how to add a timer, how to start the timer with a toggle button and how to print the time that passes by in your program. So first of all we would add a timer by pressing on the right on the right button on our mouse. We would search for timer then we do it again and search for a toggle button and search for a numeric. We would put everything in place. Okay, we need to define every command that we have on our uh, panel. First of all, we go to the timer. Uh, the constant name must be in capital letters. So I would stick with the timer and then we need to call a callback function. I would call it timer fun. Uh, you can't call the callback function your callback function as timer because uh, CBI already has a function that is called timer. So it won't run, it won't compile, so don't do it. So call it be creative, call something, I would call it timer fun. And now we'd go to the interval. Actually, the interval is the comparison of time in your program uh, compared to the real world. Uh, as you can see, the interval here is 1. If I would divide it in 1 second, it would be 1. Uh, so 1 in the real world divided to 1 in the interval is 1. Every 1 second in the real world is 1 second in my program. If I would change it to 0.1, 0.1, it would be one minute, one second in the real world divided to 0.1 in my program, and it would be 10 seconds. Every one second in my world would be 10 seconds in my program. I will change the name, and I don't want my my timer to start at the minute, at the second that I uh, run my program, so I would do it disabled and not enabled. Then I would go to my toggle button and I would change, uh, change the title to nothing and then I would put in the callback function start timer func because this is the function that would start the time and I want to press start when it's off and press stop when it's on. Then I would go to here to the numeric. I would delete this and one second is an integer so I would change it to integers and not double. Then I would put a callback function on my, on my panel. I would press twice on the panel and the panel and put a callback function, which I would call it exit func, which quits the program uh, every time I press on the X here. Exit func. Okay, now I want to generate my code. Generate all code, yes. I would press exit function here. Okay, and this is my code. Now I would go to start timer func to the toggle button, and I would define an integer, which I would call him selection. And I want that my program would, that my timer would start when I press on my uh, toggle button on and stop when I press on my toggle button stop. When I actually want to set the value of the timer as the value of the of the toggle button. So first of all I would get the value of the toggle button. I would put here panel handle panel handle here panel toggle button and here ampersand selection so when the toggle button is off the selection would be 0 0 
and when the toggle button is on, the selection would be 1. And I would set the timer timer with with my new selection with the integer that I have I would go to here the control ideas panel timer and then I would search here in the options for timer and I would like to do timer enabled and as I said when the toggle button is on the selection would be one and this is the value of the timer as well. One is enabled. And when the toggle button is off, the value of selection is zero. And when, uh, when the timer is off, which disabled, the value is zero as well. We would replace it. And now I want to print my, my, uh, the seconds that pass by. So I would go to the timer fun when the every the, to the timer function the timer tick okay so our timer is actually a loop that starts over every time every seconds that start so first of all i would set an integer which is i a global integer uh, equals to zero and then i would go to my loop here and every second that passed by, I want to print the value of the second of i in the numeric. So set control attribute. I would search for the numeric. And here as well, I would search to the, for the numeric. And I want to control uh, the value. And I would put in the value every second that passes by, which is i. And every time the loops, the loop ends, I would do i plus plus. And now it's supposed to work. Let's see. We would start time. And as you can see, every one second in my world is 10 seconds in the program. For example, here, one second. If I want to change it and to do uh, to do the same seconds here and the same seconds in the program, I would change it to one, and I would start the program. And as you can see, the time passes by as the real world. So thank you, everyone, and have a good day.